Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, I actually wanted to talk about something outside of the general franchise and more along the lines of actual scientific news and conversation. So I'm sure a lot of you have more than likely already heard Elon Musk's name thrown around in relation to modern day humans building an authentic Jurassic Park. But even if you haven't, I'll go ahead and give you the rundown just so we're all on the same page. So for a long while now, Elon Musk has been working on something he calls Neuralink, which is actually something that I've been personally following up on for a while through a few different podcasts and just general conversation that's been going around on the internet. Most recently, they've shown a monkey that's got the link play Pong with his mind, believe it or not. Anyways, in relation to recreating real dinosaurs, Elon Musk's business partner said, quote, we could probably build Jurassic Park if we wanted to. Wouldn't be genetically authentic dinosaurs, but maybe 15 years of breeding and engineering to get super exotic species. Biodiversity is definitely valuable, conversation is important and makes sense, but why do we stop there? Why don't we more intentionally try to generate novel diversity? And the more I read that, the more it sounded like Dr. Wu's Indominus Rex wouldn't be too far off from what real life people would try to attempt. But now, of course, as soon as Max said this, there was a ton of people questioning how they would even be able to get dinosaur DNA. But believe it or not, I've actually been told privately that there is some stuff out there between paleontologists as far as how they may be able to fix that little problem in the future. For purely scientific reasons, of course, and that doesn't mean we're going to have living dinosaurs tomorrow or anything, but there totally are efforts out there for scientists to go and piece together as much fossilized and genetic material or genetic structures left behind as possible to do something with. Whether or not they'd be from mosquitoes trapped in amber, I don't know. I'm not exactly working in that field, but they have, of course, found soft tissue and other things like skin before, so don't walk out of here thinking you know everything. That being said, what Max said in relation to making real-life dinosaurs does sound an awful lot like Jurassic Park. And remember, these are guys that are actually working in leading scientific stuff right now with a lot of funding. He basically asserted that they wouldn't be 100% based on the genetic accuracy of their fossilized counterparts, but I could see the whole hybridization with amphibian DNA thing being a reality if they were to ever fully commit to something like this. Then, of course, there's the other way, or the much more quirky and kind of controversial idea that Dr. Jack Horner has for people to go into the genetic code of a modern chicken, turn off and on certain genes that are currently locked away in its person in order to retroactively breed some sort of weird dino chicken thing through science. This wouldn't technically be any dinosaur we really know about, but if they could go into the code and give the animal a tail, teeth, claws, and other prehistoric features, well, that would be very Jurassic and also quite un Ian Malcolm of Jack Horner to do. By the way, everything I just mentioned is 100% real and something that Dr. Horner really does want to do. So again, don't walk out of here thinking this will either never happen or hasn't been tried before. Now, Elon Musk and his peers that get involved in all these business dealings and company research, of course, have the kind of money needed in order to legitimately start something like this if they really wanted to, especially with the 15 year time gap and promise that it wouldn't necessarily be 100% accurate dinosaurs. Think of it as skipping the Jurassic Park process of anything looking like a Tyrannosaurus or Triceratops, and instead going straight into the Jurassic World engineering of things like the Indoraptor or E750. Then again, he also mentioned the fact that they could and possibly even should do something like creating as many novel species as possible, citing biodiversity and conservation as important things in the discussion. Personally, I just think this is a shot in the dark. That I This is really crazy of him to come out and say. It's not like Jurassic Park could never, ever, ever happen. It's just that, you know, there requires so much research and stuff to go into something like this for you to even attempt to say so faithfully and honestly that you could probably do it. I mean, then again, they know more than I do in this sort of thing. And I have known that the paleontological circle and especially the scientific community for a long time has been really cynical and I don't know, just, there's, there's a lot of stuff going into this where people deny having knowledge of something or they deny that something is reality and then you figure out that uh, they might just be super biased and or trying to push some sort of agenda along the way of their own personal funding or of just their own personal opinions getting out there above everyone else's. So who knows? I mean, 
these guys say, hey, we could if we wanted to. The science isn't that crazy. If they really had the funding to do something like this, they would do something. I don't know if it'd be Jurassic Park, but it would be something. And who knows, maybe after 15 years of breeding and genetic research, they could take something like an emu or an ostrich and work with Jack Horner's wild ideas to make something look as close as possible to a Velociraptor Anteropus. Either way, this talk does sound an awful lot like what you'd find in the franchise, and I'm sure it would be something Michael Crichton might not be too happy about. So we know that they've said that they might be able to do something like this, but will they actually ever try? Well, in my opinion, I think that sometime in the next 10 or maybe 20 years, someone will probably try to take up Jack Horner on his chicken science idea. Now, will that be successful? Well, honestly, I don't know, but the concept of building an actual Jurassic Park isn't exactly as laughed at as some would have you believe. It's not exactly 100% sound, in fact, it's not. But I think going forward with this kind of science would stir up an awful lot of ethical debates, as it should, if it ever reached the mainstream. And I'd probably be one of the people that wasn't exactly in favor of making this a reality. Again, I want all of you guys to remember that this was just kind of said in a spur of the moment sort of small talky way. And there aren't really any concrete efforts by Elon Musk or anyone to realistically build a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World for the public. But the fact that they have so brazenly said we could probably do it and even make an argument for crossbreeding and genetic manipulation, well, it's kind of cool and scary at the same time, isn't it? My opinion on this whole thing is probably obvious to you all by now. Just because we can do something doesn't mean we should. So even though I'd love to see dinosaurs someday with my own two eyes, I still think that humans meddling in genetics that liberally isn't really natural, for lack of a better term. But who knows, maybe in 10 years I'll get eaten by a real-life Indoraptor created by Elon Musk or something. That thing attacks people based on an acoustic signal with a little laser, so there wouldn't even be any forensic evidence as far as ballistics go when they find my body. And I mean, why pull the trigger when you have a genetically engineered dinosaur that can do the job and maybe even clean up after itself, am I right, fellas? Anyways, guys, those are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. Now, I'm curious to hear what all of you have to say. Do you think that they could have been serious when talking about building a Jurassic Park if they actually wanted to? Or do you think this was all just a little bit of fun? I know a lot of people are going to be like, you can't do that. That's impossible. Awesome, bro. T sh shut the hell up, dude. You've seen how far we've reached with genetic material and stuff like CRISPR and let alone dinosaur material getting dug up. You know for damn certain they're going to clone a mammoth one day. They're going to try to do something like that like this and Jack Horner is really pushing his chicken thing so this is reality and to quote Vic Koskins it's happening with or without you now whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be I'd love to hear them in the comments down below now before I go I'd like to thank all of my game wardens as well as all of my engine executives I'd also like to thank all of my parkers and engine hunters as well Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing me again. See you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.